Last week, Megan and I put out a video called A Pro Move in Five Steps, and it went kind of viral. It had 50,000 views in the first week, which is pretty good for us. In this video, we're gonna give you three pro-level West Coast swing moves. And we're gonna start real easy, so you can even start your dance this way. Right, we start with our little sway, sway. Then we're gonna lead a tuck. One, two, and three, four, five, and six. Then we're gonna lead a leader's flyby. Three, and four, five, and six. Coming around the corner for a whip. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight nine and 10, it's getting kind of crazy. We roll her into a skater's position, pop her back out, lead with my left hand, because why not, add a rock and go, and then bow to the audience, because that's a good set of moves. So don't start your dance that way, because you're gonna start too high. But first things first, we're gonna lead a basic tuck. You can do this right off the start of the dance. We lead one, two, I collapse my arm into myself to let Megan go away, three and four, anchor five and six. That's easy stuff, right? I'm just taking my arm towards me, one, two, allowing Megan to go away, anchor step. The key for Miss Megan, and I know what she's gonna say, is to stay connected <laughs> to this arm. We don't yes, even need you, Miss Megan. Connected. One, two, we send her away, anchor step, right? So now we get to the leader's flyby. There's two different versions of this that you can do. The first one is in triples. One, two, three, and four, five, and six to get to the other side connected real quickly, right? That's the first version. The second version is I can do a walk in the middle of that. One, two, three, and four. Walk five, six, seven, and eight, right? Miss Megan, what's going on whether I do walks or triples? Uh, the follower needs to stay uh, connected away from this hand. So triple step right here. I'm paying attention to the speed and connection here in this uh, point up here. Walk, walk anchor step cool but there's a skill that we need to do to get to this and that is this i need to practice doing an inside turn picking up in closed position right because for me to fly by my partner i have to take her off the track otherwise she's going to be in my way so what i want you to do is practice when you see her spine right down the middle pick her back up right if you see her from the other side when i see her spine i want to be able to put my fingers in the middle and end up in closed position. That's the first skill, but then I'm gonna use that to send her off the track. So in this case, I'm gonna send her that way. One, two, three, and four. Both hands go to that side. You can see this was my track. I've taken Megan off. Now if I do my triples, I have to go quickly. I wanna pivot back for trip, step forward for pull, step to the other side. If I do that from this side one more time, then I'll give you the easier version, the one that I use more often two, five, and six. But what will happen a lot when I'm social dancing is I'll just walk through that, right? I wanna prioritize getting my follower off the line, and if I get that, I can easily pivot a half turn back, a half turn forward. I have this connection so she knows to stay away from it as I turn the corner and anchor step, right? If I segue that into the next move, right, the next move I would start with my right hand, but let's make it more complicated than that, and let's lead a whip, one, two, transferring to the right hand to get all the way through this anchor step. Did I do that with the right hand? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Sometimes I'm not sure. So to do this, what I want to be able to do is cultivate the ability to lead a whip with my right hand. One, two, three, and four, single outside turn, anchor step. The great Mario Rabao once taught me to be able to lead all my patterns with both hands because I need to lead that pattern with my right hand while I pick up this hand underneath, right? We have one, two, three, and four. From here, right hand goes over for five, six. Now, normally we would just anchor step in that position. If we do that again, one, two, three, and four. Right hand, left hand, anchor step. But that's not cool enough for you guys on YouTube. It's not cool <laughs> enough. One, two, three, and four five, six. Now I'm going to lead a rock and go with the left hand. Seven and eight. I want to get Megan to step back. I'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to keep her turning in triples, triple step, and then an anchor step. Let's look at that more closely. Let's do it from the other side, Miss Megan. Same side, I think. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Over five, six. Now a rock and go. The left hand's leading this. Seven and what I want to do is send this hand this way to get her to step back for eight, right? I put this behind my head, boom, behind my head. Now, she's gonna keep going in triples. Right hand goes over, trip, 
full step. Don't hit your partner in the head like I just did. Cool? From the other side, we have one, two, three, and four. Right hand, left hand, rock and go, triple step, anchor step. But there's a pro tip, Brian's pro tip anyways, in getting your follower to, lead, uh, to follow, follow this. One, two, three, and four. Right hand, left hand. When I take this over, triple, because I want her to step back, I'm gonna slide myself through. So that way my right hand triple step can lead the next part. Now I'm in this right hand hole, which segues great to this next move. Looks like this, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, and how about a rock and go to finish it? This video is like a rock and go. rock and goes are awesome. They're like a mastery class. So. To lead this one, real simple, first skill is roll in, roll out with the right hand. One, two, three, and four, roll her out. Miss Megan did something instinctually there, which is helpful for the followers, is to leave that left hand <laughs> available for me, because maybe I just want to take it up and over, right? And I will take it up and over, but I'm going to do something more with it. One, two, three, and four five and six, right? So I'm taking her out into the rock and go. Now from here, I could just lead with my right hand back over the top, right? Because I want to have different bailouts. So let's do that one again. One, two, three, and four. Rock and go. This hand's on my shoulder or bicep-ish. I could just take my right hand over. That's the easier way out if something goes wrong. But we're not here for easy. We have one, two, three, and four, five, and six. I'm on my right foot. Now I'm taking the left hand over as Megan triples seven and eight. Easy way is to anchor step right here. That's too boring for Miss Megan. That's too boring for the <laughs> followers. They don't want to just anchor step. We have to do more cool stuff. So we're going to use a rock and go at the end. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, rock and go. Send her past anchor step. Now to make this happen, there is a trick as always. When we roll her in, three and four, she's four on the right foot, we take the left hand over, five and six to lead that rock and go. I have to pull her out of that. I'll explain that in a second. Now from here, I like to triple around the corner, left, right, left. So from that position, as I take this hand over, I'm gonna triple left, right, left, left, right, left. We start to create this connection. If we do, she's got some momentum. I allow her to go back and then forward before I take her out. So if we put all three of these together, you have quite the dance. We have one, two, three, and four, leaders fly by. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. I gotta change the hand during that whip. Over, over, rock and go. Keep her spinning in an anchor step. Roll her into skaters, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, a rock and go, and a good old fashioned, old school finish. All right, so you're obviously a big West Coast Swing fan if you made it this far. You're gonna wanna watch two things. Number one, this video here where Megan and I break down Ronnie and Brandy's amazing dance. Number two, a full access membership over on westcoastswingonline.com. We have a new app for Apple and Android. We have hundreds of patterns categorized by level. You can favorite them, you can play them offline. It's the coolest thing we've ever created. We launched it this year. You can access it right here, 14 days for free.